Folks, JD here, <clears throat> and today we are going to be setting up the Bugster to use the Flysky uh, transmitter that we got the other day. This is the FSGT3B. So, in order to do this, what we've got to do is we've got to take off the pins and take off the body of the Bugster. Right, now, this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting. So if I turn this round, essentially what you're doing is we are return, we are removing this receiver right here. The receiver connects the servo at the front for steering left and right as well as connects uh, to the ESC here which in turn connects to the battery which connects then to the brushed or brushless motor. So essentially what you're doing is you're taking your transmitter feed, wireless transmitter feed and you are then enabling yourself to remotely control this vehicle. Right. So what we're going to do is take off this bit and we are going to then add the uh, the receiver that came with the fly sky itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little screwdriver here and just pop that off. Now, because you've got dual feeds here, you've got one going off, as I said, one going off to the ESC, one going off to the, uh, the servo at the front here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keep an eye on which one is top and which one is bottom, which one's connected to channel 1, which one's connected to channel 2. So channel 1 is right at the bottom, channel 2 is the second one up. So with that still connected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything from the packaging. Now, this new receiver is pre-bound. So you are, haven't got to bind it, it is already pre-bound. As you can see, they are, if I put them around the right way to begin with, oh, oh, come on, fiddly, 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 there we go. They are, apart from which controllers that they act, which transmitters they actually control, they are looking identical. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to take out these two cables while holding the block pin connectors exactly the same, so that they, they're not going to move at all, and then we're going to find channel 1 and channel 2, which are directly underneath in exactly the same place on this and I'm going to connect the bottom one to channel 1 and then I'm going to connect the second one to channel 2. Now that should mean that there we go what we're going to do for the second we're going to test this because I'm not going to be putting all this together and making sure that the the Wi-Fi, uh, making sure that the, 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 that the antenna runs right the way through the body of the car correctly if it's not going to work. So what we're going to do is I'm going to plug up my little 3000 milliamp hour battery that I've got for this. We're going to turn on the transmitter first. There we go, transmitter is on. We're on my profile for the Bugster. Let's turn this on. Now what we should have, as you can see for the transmitter, we should be turning. Which is exactly what we are doing. So that tells me that it's working. If I lift it up so that the wheels aren't anywhere near the uh, the floor for a second, I'm just going to give it a little bit of beans. There's a lot of kick with that. Okay, perfect. So now we know that this new receiver is working and working properly. So I'm just going to turn off that transmitter and move it out of the way. So now what I'm going to do is run everything properly. For this I'm going to be using VHB strips. Now VHB strips, if you're new to the channel, you probably wouldn't have seen me use these before. Now these are very heavily bonded strips, essentially what it stands for. They are extremely sticky and they stick things not indefinitely, nothing is ever indefinite, but at the same time, a lot for a, for a very, very, very long time. The adhesion is very quick acting. They're not that expensive. It is a hundred times, maybe even a thousand times better than the Velcro. And the only pain is getting this off here. So now, come on. That's the only problem because everything sticks to everything. So you're trying to get your nail under there and it, your finger ends up sticking. There we go, perfect. So now I'm going to stick this to the main body of the bugster. So that should fit in. Push that down against the suspension and that's it. That's all the way in. And this little antenna 
I'm just going to feed through the main body of the bugster here. Obviously you can put the antenna wherever you want to for best signal. Even if you wanted to, I've seen people that have drilled holes in the bugster to have the antenna pop out of the top. Um, I'm not planning... There we go. So the antenna just comes out the front of there. And then that just sits in front. So the antenna runs through the main body of the bugster. The new receiver is all attached and all on there. So all in all, this is now done. Uh, and we can take her out, hopefully, and we can give her a shot. Now, if you want more uh, of these particular antennas, they're very easy to buy. Amazon, Banggood, wherever. The, this particular one is the uh, AFHD. DS. Make sure you get exactly the same model as the one that comes with your um, your your transmitter, just to ensure it's going to bind without any problems. You're going to find that everything's working. You can then. I've got a couple of other ones, which I'm going to be trying and seeing if any if they actually work with my new transmitter, and if they do, if which one is better. Uh, and I'll surely let you guys know in a video once I've done that test as well. So there we are folks, next thing is to test this, so please join me in the next couple of days when we're going to be doing exactly that. We're going to be testing this bad boy and see exactly how this does on the new transmitter. There we are folks, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers, I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time my friends, happy racing.